My name is Justin Yomok, and welcome back to the CNT Podcast. Today's episode is the Milwaukee Brewers, so let's hop right on into it. Catcher, you have Omar Navarez. First base, Daniel Vogelback. Second base, Keston Herrier. Third base, Luis Urias. Shortstop, Orlando Garcia. Left field is Christian Yelich. Center field, Lorenzo Kane. Right field, Avisa Garcia. And DH is David Fritis. With the starting pitchers consisting of Brandon Woodruff, Corbin Barnes, Eric Laro, Josh Lindeblu, and Adrian Hauser. And relief pitchers have Josh Hadel, Devin Williams, Justin Topa, Phil Bitford, Eric Yodling, Brett Suno. And the top three prospects are Garrett Mitchell's outfield, projected time arrival 2023, then Bryce Tring, shortstop slash second base, Project the time of arrival 2022, and then Ethan Small, left hand pitcher, estimated time of arrival 2021. So, this is a solid team, so let's start off with what I don't like. The prospects are all right, but I don't really like them. I don't think any of them are going to be great. I think they could be solid and help them, but I don't think they're gonna, any of them are really going to be stars or studs. I don't, I honestly, I don't have much hype around them. And I don't, I don't like them very much, if I'm being completely honest. I don't like Luis Uranus or Orlando Garcia. I, don't, I just don't think they're good. And I don't like Avisal Garcia and David Fritis. I think they are both not great either. And I also don't like Adrian Hauser and Josh Lindeblu. I think they're kind of bad. Now what I think is solid and is solid. Uh, Eric Lauer and Corbin Barnes, I think, are solid. I think the bottom two relief pitchers are solid. And I think Lorenzo Kane is solid. I think Kesson Huey is solid. And I think Daniel Vogelback is solid. Now what I like about this team. I like Brandon Woodruff. And I like Josh Hader, Devin Williams, and Justin Topal. They are all very good. I like the bullpen. They have one of the better bullpens in the league. And I like Brandon Woodruff. He's a very good pitcher. And then, obviously, you got to like Christian Yelich. He's a top-tier player. He's top 10 in most people's list. You obviously like him. He's the leader of this team. And then I also like Omar Navarez. I think he's super underrated. I think he's the second most underrated catcher behind Christian Valdez of the Red Sox. I think he's super underrated. Um, but I also think Omar's also underrated. He's been very good. He was good with the Mariners, and I think he'll continue to be good with the Brewers. And I see a lot of potential in this team. I say I think it's a playoff team. This is a good. This is a good solid team. I don't think they will win the division. I on if you might consider this a little biased, but I mean they're either second or third. And if they get third, I think it's because the Cubs over exceed expectations, which I don't expect them to. But I feel like some of their additions are good. If Jake Area plays well, if Jack Peterson plays well, if everyone's consistent, I see the Cubs as a better team. Again, not trying to be biased here, but I think they if if their signings play well, I think the Cubs can be a bit better. But I expect the Brewers to finish second and the Cubs third. I do not expect them to be the Cubs to be better than the Brewers, but I'm not counting it out. Oh, this is a pretty good team, like I said, and with the Cubs losing most of their pitchers, there's a good chance they have a better chance at the division. Um, they're, they're going to be competing for a few years, and they're, they're always going to be consistently good for probably the next decade or so, but this is a pretty good team. That, that's all, that's pretty much it I have. Uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you again tomorrow.